Today, we will discuss key steps for manufacturing paper and also different mechanical pulping process. Let's start with steps for manufacturing. One, raw material preparation trees are harvested and debarked, removing the outer bark. Typically, softwood like pine and hardwood like eucalyptus are used. Two, felling. Selected trees are cut down using machinery like chainsaws or mechanical harvesters. In commercial paper production, large-scale logging operations are employed to harvest trees efficiently. Three, debarking. Once felled, the trees are stripped of their bark. The bark is typically not used for making paper because it contains impurities and chemicals that can interfere with the pulping process. Four, cutting into logs or chips. After debarking, the trees are cut into manageable logs or further processed into wood chips. Wood chips are the preferred form for paper production as they are easier to process in the pulping stage. Five, transport. The harvested and processed wood, either as logs or wood chips, is transported to the paper mill or pulp mill. Six, sustainable wood harvesting. To minimize environmental impact, many paper manufacturers use sustainable forestry practices. This includes replanting trees in harvested areas using a mix of recycled paper and wood from sustainably managed forests. Seven, certifications like FSC, Forest Stewardship Council, or PEFC programmed for the endorsement of forest certification ensure that the wood used comes from responsibly managed forests. Hence, wood harvesting is a critical initial step in the paper manufacturing process. Now we will discuss about mechanical pulping. Pulping is the process of breaking down the fibrous material from wood or other raw sources into pulp. Mechanical pulping. It is one of the primary methods for converting wood into pulp for paper making. It involves physically grinding or refining wood to separate the fibers. Types of mechanical pulping processes. A, stone groundwood pulping, SGW. Method. Logs are pressed against a large rotating grinding stone. Water is often sprayed on the stone to reduce friction and heat. Outcome, the grinding action separates the wood fibers into pulp. However, it creates short fibers and retains most of the wood's lignin, making the resulting paper less strong. Advantages, simple low cost method with high fiber yield. Disadvantages, paper produced from SGW pulp tends to be weaker and less durable prone to yellowing and brittleness over time. B, refiner mechanical pulping, RMP. Method, wood chips, rather than whole logs, are fed into a refiner that consists of two large rotating discs. The chips are ground between these discs under high pressure and heat. Outcome, this process separates fibers more efficiently than SGW, yielding pulp that is stronger but still retains lignin. Advantages. Produces higher quality mechanical pulp compared to SGW. Disadvantages. Still retains a high amount of lignin, which can affect paper quality. See thermomechanical pulping, TMP. Method. In this process, Wood chips are first softened by steam before being ground between the refiner discs. The application of heat helps break down lignin and allows the fibers to separate more easily. Advantages. TMP pulp has better strength properties 
and can be used for higher quality paper products like magazine paper or lightweight coated papers. Disadvantages. Still requires significant energy and the lignin content remains high, which limits its use for high grade paper. D, chemi-mechanical pulping, CMP and chemi-thermo-mechanical pulp, CTMP. Method. In CMP, wood chips are pre-treated with chemicals, such as sodium sulfite, before being mechanically refined. This chemical treatment partially softens the lignin and makes it easier to separate the fibers. In CTMP, additional heat is added to CMP process. Both the process provides high quality fiber and high quality paper. Properties of mechanical pulp. A lignin content. Mechanical pulping leaves most of the lignin intact, which binds the wood fibers together. Lignin is responsible for the yellowing of paper over time when exposed to light and contributes to the lower to strength and durability of mechanical pulp paper. B. Fiber. Length. The mechanical process tends to shorten the fibers, resulting in weaker paper compared to chemical pulps, which preserve longer fibers. C. Brightness. Mechanical pulp generally has a lower brightness because lignin darkens the paper. Some mechanical pulps are bleached to improve brightness, but this bleaching is not as thorough as in chemical pulping. Advantages of mechanical pulping. One high yield. Mechanical pulping produces more pulp per unit of wood than chemical pulping, up to 95%. Two, cost effective. It is a less expensive method for producing large quantities of pulp. 3. Sustainability. High yield reduces the number of trees needed, and mechanical pulping often uses renewable energy sources like hydroelectric power. Disadvantages of mechanical pulping. 1. Lower strength. The pulp produced has shorter fibers and retains lignin, resulting in weaker paper. 2. Yellowing. Due to the high lignin content, paper made from mechanical pulp is prone to yellowing and degradation over time. 3. Energy-intensive mechanical pulping requires a significant amount of energy, especially in TMP and CTMP processes where heat is applied. Applications of mechanical pulp. Mechanical pulps are primarily used for producing newsprint Magazines, if coated with clay, lightweight paper used in mass printing, low-cost paper products. In short, we arrive into a conclusion that mechanical pulping is a widely used method for producing pulp due to its high yield, although it results in paper with lower strength and durability. This method is energy intensive and retains lignin in the pulp, making the paper prone to yellowing. It's best suited for applications like newsprint and magazines, where paper strength and longevity are less critical. In next few sessions, we will be discussion every steps about paper processing. So stay tuned to our channel for the upcoming sessions.